you can essentially upload any face that you want. Let's try a Scarlett Johannesson. That is disturbing. <laughs> First off, I just want to say that these tools are not going to edit your video start to finish without you. It's just not possible. These tools are just taking care of those mundane tasks like auto transcribing your video, removing the background, motion tracking, all these things that normally eat up time, taking away your time that you can see the full picture and creating the story. And AI does it in seconds. So it's almost like these tools are becoming like little video editing assistants that are just helping you get to the finish line faster, which I think is a good thing. I also want to thank Invata Elements for supporting today's video and supplying all the stock footage and motion graphics as well as the sound effects and music for this video. And if you want to grab a seven day free trial, you can use my affiliate link just down below. Premiere Pro actually comes built in with five AI tools that's powered by Adobe Sensei and that's what they call their machine learning and AI at Adobe. So let's show you how some of them work here. So we're editing a vertical video, but the footage was shot in landscape and we want the frame to move to follow our subject throughout. So this is where we can go to effects and search for auto reframe and we can double click and apply it to the clip and it starts to analyze. And if we go to effect controls, you can actually see that it's done analyzing and this is the result. So it scaled it up and made sure that the surfer is in the frame at all times. And if we click here on adjust position, overwrite generated keyframes, you can actually see that Adobe Sensei generated all these keyframes to auto reframe the landscape frame to the vertical frame to make sure that subject stays in the frame. So this can be very useful for action shots when people are dancing, skateboarding, etc. The next one is auto color from Lumetri Color. If we click auto and increase the intensity slightly, it'll basically move the color and the light controls to what Adobe Sensei intelligently detects as the best lighting and color for this shot. The before, in the after. Just a slight punch, right? Another one that's really useful is auto transcription. So if you go to your text panel, you can select create transcription and choose your language and English comes preloaded up. But of course, you can go ahead and download any of these other languages and you only have to download it once and then it's transcribed locally on your machine. So let's go ahead and hit transcribe and all of these words are time coded. So when we click on them, it'll show us where that word is spoken in the timeline. And once you edit the transcript, you can go up to captions and then click create captions from transcription. But in the Premiere Pro beta, Adobe is working on text editing. Let me show you a preview. So here's the beta version and you can see that it has the same transcription. But now you can see this whole part here is just me getting set up. What I can do here is actually select all of this text that I messed up, all of this here, and I can click on extract and that will cut it from the timeline. When I did that, it removed it and created the cut. So let me press command Z to undo that. And I'll show you again here in the timeline what is happening. Once again, I'll click extract and you can actually use the shortcut, which is the comma key to create that extraction. And then it just removes it. So you can go through and start to edit your video based on the text. And I think the next step is removing filler words, right? So it can filter your transcript by ums and uhs, so, like, and if you want it. And then hopefully what we'll be able to do is just remove all of that. And that way it can create a nice cut down timeline directly using the text panel. Another AI tool is the remix feature inside of Premiere. So you can see that this music track, it's not as long as the actual video clip, but I want it to maintain that natural ending, right? So instead of duplicating it and adding crossfades, I can actually select it, go to essential sound, go to music, and then underneath duration, I can check remix and then put in my new target duration. Let's say about 12 minutes and 20 seconds. And it did it super fast and it made all these custom cuts here. So I muted the dialogue tracks and I'm just gonna play back the music so you can hear at that cut point, it's seamless. Seamless. All right, so now mixing. 
So this is where auto ducking comes into play. Right now, you can hear that it's very difficult to hear us talking in the background, right? Send you the link as soon nice. as it's because we've got a really good segment. So let's lasso and select our dialogue clips. Select dialogue from a central sound. Select auto match. And this will make sure it's at the broadcast standard for loudness. But now that we've labeled it dialogue, we can go and select the music track again. And rather than selecting auto match, we can go down to ducking and turn this on and we can duck it against the dialogue clips that we just labeled. And let's click generate keyframes. And now as we zoom in, you can see it made one keyframe in the beginning, this kind of cut off that lowers it right away because we're pretty much talking through the whole thing. And then at the very end, it just brings it up at the end. Of course, if there was more breaks in dialogue, you will see more keyframes kind of going up and down when there's no dialogue happening. But now we can play it back and see how it sounds. Silver is to talk about the process. Yeah, I, the whole video is basically quite heavy on the voiceover. So that was using just the AI audio tools to mix our sound in Premiere. But I would like to see one addition to the Essential Sound panel. I don't know if you saw a previous video where I talked about Adobe Podcast, but essentially there's this vocal enhancer that just makes your audio sound so much better. And I wish that they would have this for dialogue in the essential sound panel. They have clarity, they have repair, and a lot of these are useful. This enhanced speech is good, but it's not as good as the enhanced speech from Adobe Podcast. So I would love to see if they would add that inside of here. Let me just share with you a snippet of Finzar's voice to show you the difference. This is the before. Well, I was editing through Minecraft, so I had a virtual PC. You can hear a little bit of background noise. Watch what happens when we turn it on through Minecraft, so I had a virtual PC set up. It just sounds a lot better, right? And it doesn't work for every single clip, but I think in this case, it does a really good job at cleaning up his voice just with one little click. So talking about audio, there's another AI tool that I started using for mixing my audio that I think actually performs better than the built-in AI tools in Premiere, and it's called EndBoost. But first, I wanna tell you about Envato Elements. It's my favorite one-stop shop for unlimited creative assets. Yeah, hi, it's uh, me again. You know, I have a question. Uh, what's the difference between Envato Elements and Envato Market? It's funny that you should ask because I get this question a lot, actually. They're both owned by Envato, right? But Envato Market is where you can make a one-time purchase and Envato Elements is subscription, so you can download unlimited assets. Oh yeah, definitely. It seems like Elements is the better deal, but what else can I get with Elements? Yeah, so on Elements, you can download stock footage, video templates, music, sound effects, graphic templates, and more. For example, if you go to sound effects and you need a cowbell sound effect, can't get enough cowbell. Or maybe you need to go to stock video and search for an outer space clip that you need for a documentary. Ooh, I like that. You can go to video templates and you can browse here from all these different lower thirds and download it. So can I get templates for other software other than Premiere Pro? If you don't use Premiere Pro, you can actually choose which type of software you want. So if you use Love. After Effects or Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve, you can just search by the other software that you use. But here's a good question. Why should I choose Elements over the other marketplaces? Well, first off, it's the most affordable option on the market. And second, in addition to all the video assets, it also has a ton of graphic assets like fonts, presentation templates, Photoshop templates, and 3D objects, which the other sites do not have. And it has a set seven day free trial. Oh great, I'm gonna sign up for that seven day free trial right now. You can continue your AI video now. Thanks, bye. Okay, bye. So Enboost is essentially the evolution of Alex Audio Butler that used to be a plugin inside of Premiere Pro, but now it's its own separate app that can work with other NLEs like Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut, whatever you use because you just export the tracks and it will mix it for you. So now I'm going to export each individual track. So I'm gonna click S to solo first track one. Then I'm gonna go to export and save it as track one and export it as waveform audio and export. And I'm going to do the same for track two and track three. A few moments later. Now we can load up the audio tracks we just exported as a new sequence. So I can select track one, track two, track three, and open. 
Oh, and I forgot to mention that nBoost, you can get 10% off using my code. So now they imported and nBoost detected that track one was voice, track two was also voice, and track three was music. So then you can decide, okay, for track one, it was actually a constant source, not a variant sources. So we can change that. And then we can choose if we want natural compression, general, or maximum. I find general is just fine. Then we can go to two and also change it to constant source as well. Track three, the music track, we can choose what the target volume should be and how much ducking we want to happen. And then from master, this will allow you to choose what type of compression do you want. I will choose boost. And because this will be on YouTube, I'm gonna choose online if you're doing for TV or broadcast, you can choose EBU R128. So now look at this, it's reconforming the waveform. So it's boosting our dialogue voice and it's lowering the music track as we speak. And this is about a 12 minute and 20 second clip and it's done analyzing it. So what we can do is we can export it as its own mix. So I can just call this mix and save it to our material folder here for the project. And then I can go back into the timeline here and mute these tracks. All right, here's the mix track in our timeline and let's play it back and see how it sounds. This thumbnail, yes. uh, what, what kind of project did you make it for? What was the challenge here for you? So in terms of mixing, it sounds great, but nBoost doesn't do any noise reduction. So if you wanna get rid of some of that background noise, this is where you can go up to Essential Sound, Dialog again, and just click on reduce noise to reduce some of that background noise. This thumbnail, yes. uh, what, what kind of project did you make it for? What was the challenge here for you? Well, I was editing through Minecraft, so I had a virtual PC set up. So using a combination of the repair tools from Essential Sound and NBoost, you can have a really nice mix. But to add another level here, going back to Adobe Podcast, I would export my entire dialogue clip and Finzars and upload it to Adobe Podcast and spit it out without the background noise before I go into NBoost. So you know what? I'm actually gonna try it out. A few inches later. All right, so this is the mix from NBoost without the Adobe Podcast enhancement. This thumbnail, yes. uh, what, what kind of project did you make it for? What was the challenge here? And let's import the new enhanced mix and let's see how it sounds. This thumbnail. Yes. Uh, what what kind of project did you make it for? What was the challenge here? They add some sort of like vocal enhancement that like deepens the voice. And I don't think it works on all voices yet, but I mean, it sounds cleaner, more podcasty, but I sound like I just recovered from like bronchitis or something. I know it's still in the beta, but I would love it if it was just here inside of the essential sound panel, it would be so great. So in the last AI video, I showed you a few of Runway ML's tools, including the text to color grade and the remove back background and remove objects, but there's a few more I wanna show you. For example, if we click on the AI magic tools and we scroll down to video, there's also motion tracking. So if we select this, we can actually upload a clip and I already have a clip here of this runner. I'm gonna drop the media here into the comp. So I want to track his head. So I'm just going to click on his head and then it's going to load and we can play it back and you can see that that dot stays tracked to his head. So you might be like, okay, so great, but what am I gonna do with this? Well, what we're going to do is press done tracking, and then we can create text. For example, we can type in 5K run, and then we can stylize it. We can add some shadow behind it, and we can move this above. And then from the tracking panel here, we can link it to the video footage, and you can see it stays tracked to his head. It's that easy. All right, so next let's show you blur faces. And this is great for people that maybe didn't consent to be in your video and you need to blur the faces. So let's try this one of these folks in a subway. All right, so now this is the result. Let's play it back to see how it did. Okay, oh, well, <laughs> it didn't blur it there. And then it comes back. There's a lot going on in the scene. You can see when they walk past the pole, it removes the blur. So there's a little bit more machine learning that needs to take place. This is a more complex shot. Also, we can't choose which people we want 
the blur to be on. For example, this guy consented, but nobody else did. Let's remove that one. I think that's the next step here in the development phase. And I'm sure they probably know about this. I think I would also like it if you can choose the actual shape in the amount of pixelation in the blur. So if you want it to be a circle mask and how much of that kind of pixelation effect you want. All right, so here's another clip inside of a bus. And the guy in the background is already kind of blurry, so it's probably having trouble detecting him. But overall, it's getting there, right? So try it out on some clips and, you know, give feedback to the team because I think all these tools are only gonna get better and better the more that we use them. And you can use my code GAL to get 10% off any runway plan. So this next one is kind of a fun one. It's called Deep Swap, where you can do deep fakes by putting any person's face on top of your face. So I uploaded just a snippet of one of my intros here on YouTube. And what you can do is you can essentially upload any face that you want. For example, I uploaded uh, Kate Winslet's face. So if I select this and select face swap, it'll start to basically apply that face on my face. And here's the result. Oh my God. What is that? Why would I use this? Probably just for fun or if you're doing like role playing or skits in a video. I know there's entire Instagrams, for example, Unreal Actor, where Keanu Reeves goes around doing ordinary stuff and it's actually just another actor that has a deep fake on his face. Let's try a Scarlett Johansson. And that is disturbing. <laughs> so this last deep fake one was quite silly, but you know, I could see myself using it on occasion. So I thought I would throw it in here if you guys were interested in tools like that. But if you want me to continue to do more videos where I show you how to use different AI tools in your workflow, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I know there's a few more tools I've been meaning to try like Topaz Video AI. So if there's any other tools you can think of, just drop a comment below and I will take a look. If you'd like to see more AI video in action right now, you can watch the previous video I made right over here just by clicking this thumbnail. And over here, you can click to go check out Envato Elements assets from stock video, music, sound effects, and templates. All right, thanks so much for watching everyone. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. Bye. Mm-hmm.